Good afternoon, I'm Ashley from Andover Norton. My role in Andover Norton is the engineering side and the uh, management and processing of the castings and the forgings and the heavier type items that come through the uh, warehouse. We've had a question of, uh, from a customer who says that he's got two pistons in his engine, one marked A, one marked B. This is odd to find this because generally things were graded A and B back in the 70s for the different size bores so they can match the correct A-grade piston with the correct A-grade bore. This day and age, that does not apply. Most pistons are manufactured so that when they go into the bore, the bore is hung to give them the correct clearance. So if one's slightly different than the other, it doesn't necessarily matter like it did in the past. Some of the other questions we get, and we do see occasionally, is the cutouts in the pistons themselves. These are 750 pistons with the cutouts. The larger cutout in the piston tends to go in the position where the inlet valve goes. So if you imagine sat on the bike, the inlet is, under, is going to be in front of the carburettors. So you would put those together like that. Then if you imagine when you sat on the bike, the exhaust pipes splay out, you can see that the two exhaust ports splay out. On these pistons, the pistons are actually marked left and right. Some other things we get asking about pistons is the gudgeon pin and the small circlets. The circlets come in two varieties. You can have a wire one, it may have loops on it or it may not. If it doesn't have the loops on it, it will have a slot in the piston where you can lever it out of the piston. The other type of circlet is the eared type or Seeger type fitted to the Hepalite pistons. This has a sharp edge and generally this sharp edge faces out of the piston when it's fitted. People ask, can you use wire pistons in place of Seeger pistons? Really you shouldn't do this because the groove in the piston where the circlip sits is designed to take one type or the other and the end of the gudgeon pin is designed accordingly to butt up against the relevant circlip. I also have an 850 piston as you can see with the 850 piston, it doesn't have any scalloping or machining for the inlet and exhaust valve. This is because it doesn't come up the barrel far enough and into the combustion chamber to interfere with the valves. These pistons can be fitted left or right. However, if they're used, it's good practice to keep the left piston on the left side and the right piston on the right side when you reinstall them. If after this you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us on the Andover Norton technical email or you can ring us between 8 and 4 each working day where we should be able to help you with your technical query. If we can't answer it immediately we will return with a reply in an email. <laughs>